What's going on everybody? I'm Alex from Boards, Bikes, and Hikes. And in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through the 2021-2022 Arbor Snowboards catalog. So let's, let's just dive right into it and get on going. Sick hand playing on a the roof there. All right. As you can tell, I found this catalog in a, uh, another country's website. All right. Talking about the uh, process that the Arbor Snowboards go through, kind of just taking you through a quick run through of how they're made. A portion of every sale has gone to restoring Hawaii's native Koa forest, giving back to the people and the place that got us surfing swells, sidewalks, and snow. Super sick. Dang, 350,000 trees and counting. That's awesome. All right, this is taking you through the materials that Arbor uses to put into its snowboard. I wish this was an English catalog. Hopefully, if I find one at some point in the future, I will post it in the comments or the description of this video. That way people are able to read it because uh, I'd love to be able to read all this. I think this kind of stuff's super fascinating. All right, talk about Arbor's grip tech technology. Talk about the profile, the rocker, camber base plate, and different nose profiles over here that they've got, fenders, man I wish I could read a lot of this, all right, showing you again the process, you got the team riders, the amateur riders, Artists. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. All right, here we go. Here we got a the resort boards. You got your big mountain boards, unisex rocker, women's rocker, the tr the uh, the true twin boards, the street and park boards down here. Just a quick overview. You got the directional. A lot of boards to go through. Alright, we're gonna start off with the true twins. Got the Eric Leon Relapse, the true twin, camber profile. Four out of ten flex, so a little bit on the softer side of medium, not a bad uh, not a bad flex, really playful. Got the Westmark Camber. That's awesome. I like the uh, Kind of like chef style. It reminds me of like a like an Italian. Like I mean, well, it is a pizza, but like a like something you'd see on a pizza box. I think that's really neat. Got the brick oven, slice of pizza, chef. For those who don't know, I actually I was a chef for a little while before I work where I do now. Got the Westmark rocker and camber profiles. The draft rocker and camber. That's a really like trippy. Looks like a like Grateful Dead shirt or something oh that one is beautiful we got the cadence rocker and camber that's a really nice like oriental style design i, I really like that resort mountain twins got the element rocker and camber i like on a lot of these boards that like it just got the like kind of natural wood grain look to it i think that looks really nice it's like a classy kind of board. Got the Formula Rocker and Camber. Really like Arbor's logo too. Completely off tangent, but sort of not, but big fan of their logo. I think it just looks cool. Got the Paparazzi Rocker and Camber. Arbor Foundation. Also on these boards, you can see the terrain guide right here. It's gonna show you kind of what this board is made to do, as well as the flex over here on the right hand side, and all the features that have you know gone into the board as well as listed. So got the Arbor Ethos. The Arbor Cheater. Well, I have a lot of white space there. I thought there was gonna be something. Alright, the big mountain twins. You got the wasteland rocker and camber. I really like again that just like natural wood grain. I like the you know different blend of natural wood colors too. I think that looks beautiful. 
We got the Shiloh rocker and camber. Wish this catalog was a little bit clearer. It could be just where it's a, uh, I don't know. Almost got like a grainy look to it. I wish I could see the rest of like a, a slightly crisper picture of the board, but all right, we got the Coda rocker and camber. Coda split board rocker and camber. I've said this in other videos, I'll say it again. I hope one day I live somewhere or at least I'm able to visit somewhere that I'm able to do some split boarding. It's something I'd love to try or get into, but I just, in the area that I live in, it's not a, wouldn't be worth me owning a split board, but maybe one day. We got the Swoon Rocker and Camber Snowboard. The Swoon Split Board. And the Directional Style Shape Snowboards, all right. Got the Arbor Annex. Holy crap. All right, the top sheet looks really awesome. I really like it. And it's, it's kind of like, I don't know, you know, it's not super overly flashy, but I think it looks really, really well done. And the bottom of that, the base of that snowboard looks absolutely beautiful. I hope that I can find a shop that has that somewhere this season so that I'm able to see that because I, I love when they, you know, not only do a design on the top sheet, but the base as well. That's one of my favorite things. Like I, I just first, uh, I just recently purchased the Golden Orca from LibTech, and that was one of the things that drew me to it so much was the fact that there was art on the top and the bottom of the board. Got the Arbor Single. The Brian Gucci Pro Camber. Got a really beautiful tie-dye base. It almost looks like the Triforce from Zelda. Again, I think this would look really, really cool in a, like, the image was a little bit clearer. It's got the Brian Aguchi Pro split board. The Beta, Vita, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but looks sick. The Beta split. The Crosscut rocker and camber. The A-frame. trucking the directional guns all right we got the casa no casa nostra nostra i know i'm probably butchering that I'm not, I, I'm not familiar with this one so i don't know the name very well but got the all natural wood grain look going on six out of ten flex got the clovis that looks really that's a again i wish this was a clearer picture but i like the uh kind of like western tile style top sheet but then the bottom to me oh now that i um, longer i look at it it's almost like a looks like like cave paintings or something to me i think it's really cool kind of a unique unique design we got the arbor terrapin looks like a really short wide board which i'm a huge fan of got a nine out of ten flex so super stiff Photos of just all the athletes. Awesome locations. Super sick shots. Talking about their split board and the uh, the skins that go on the bottom of them. Sorry, getting messages. And arbor bindings. I've never tried arbor bindings personally, but I've seen a lot of people using them. I've looked at them in the shops. I've seen a lot of people using them in the lift lines. I haven't personally tried them, but I think they all look really good. And this close-up picture of that looks super sweet. the X system design. That is a super sick looking binding. You got the Mark Carter Cypress Pro. That's really good. I wish I would knew exactly what this currency was. I could kind of convert it for anybody who's looking, but again, I'll try to find this in a, where it's in all English. That way, you're able to read a little bit more of the information. MFR Sequoia Pro. Got the Cypress binding. Comes in a variety of colorways. I actually really like that dried tobacco one. I think that looks sick. As well as the Dark Sage. All, heck, all of these actually look really good. Got the Sequoia binding. I'm a big fan of like the mint colors. I think that looks really sick. Some women specific. Got the Hemlock binding. I like the Frank April one. Mustard's not bad either. 
FA Hemlock Pro. Ken got that like little pizza box design over here. I'm digging it, mm -hmm. really digging it. Got the Arbor Spruce, like the orange. I'm, I'm a big fan of bright colors, if you can't tell. The, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but got that. <laughs> And again, just talking about the snowboard materials, what they're made out of, the uh, the base of the snowboards. Talk about the different wood cores, the recycled materials, the rails, flip tips, inserts, all that good info. And then here we go. Here's just again a broad overview of all of the 2022 Arbor snowboards that are going to be in their lineup for next season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button because it's gonna really help me out. It, I mean, it really just does tremendous amounts for my video if you're able to smash that like button. So if you could please just take a few seconds, click it, get it over with. You have no idea how much I would appreciate each and every thumbs up that I get. Um, I'm going to leave a link to this website in the bottom of this video in the description. That way you're able to come back, look at them a little bit longer. Maybe you can do some research about the ones you're you know most interested in or that caught your eye. I will leave that in the description below for you all. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I'm just, you know, spruising, uh, cruising through the end, going through these overviews here. But, um, again, thank you guys so much for watching and can't wait to see you all in the next video soon. Super pumped for the snowboard season to get started and it's already over. Or super pumped for, I'm just gonna.